Welcome back. The global push to EVs boosting the price of lithium to a record high in China. And as demand for the metal soars, guess what? Lithium is, of course, critical to the manufacturing of batteries used in EVs, that's electric vehicles. And for more of this, let's bring in Yahoo Finance's Praz Subramanian. So these, uh, these uh, elements that are difficult to find, lithium among them, difficult to mine and process, what's the status? Yeah, just today, lithium prices hit, I think, 500,000 yuan in China, which is a tripling of the value of that in, in a ton uh, this year. So very heavy, de heavy demand there. I think it's kind of driven by two different stories. Number one is, is, is just demand, right? So China is going to build around 6 million EVs this year. That's a double from last year. There's a lot of demand there in China. Even in the U.S., we saw record uh, sales of EVs in the in second quarter. Uh, and then there's also disruption in supply. We have uh, in, in China, in the Sichuan province, there's a lot of uh, lithium mining going on there. They have a lot of power outages, a lot of power strikes. So they've had to actually curtail some of that production for two weeks there. So you have a little supply issue too. So, you know, we're seeing a lot of that happen there. We're seeing a lot of the manufacturers or, or automakers like, like Ford, GM, Tesla, kind of actually taking the matters into their own hands and investing in lithium operations to actually kind of get their own supply. And lastly, you have Tesla last week's filing an application to make a, a lithium refinery in the Texas Gulf Coast. So, you know, we're seeing that actually automakers saying, hey, you know what, we need to actually start acquiring our own supply because right now it's getting, the, the prices are getting out of control. Yeah, so we have the um, lithium refinery coming to Texas. I remember it was about two years ago when we first started get, getting the impetus for uh, trying to create the initiatives for mining a lot of these uh, rare earth metals in the U.S. and also processing them. At the time, I think there was one facility in California. Mm -hmm. That's it. How much progress have we made since then in kind of bringing this uh, process to the U.S.? So you know that this refinery in Texas, right, if it happens, it'll start production in this year, but won't start making any lithium until 2024 at the earliest. So, you know, Jared, there's a, there's a, there's a uh, actual uh, a mining operation, the Salton Sea in L.A., it's going to take years for them to actually start make you know fru fruition, right? So most of the subs come from Chile, Bolivia, and also China, right? Those are the three big kind of areas for lithium. So I think we're going to see in the near term more of that come from those three countries, and eventually, as we see these the IRA, the kind of the incentives for people to or for companies to make batteries and, and produce materials in the U.S., that will start happening soon because because of the fact there's, there's so much incentives for that to happen here. And finally, we got about 30, 45 seconds in Germany. We know we have that, that gigafactory with uh, Tesla, mm -hmm. but their input costs in terms of energy up about three, four hundred percent. I'm just wondering if you have any kind of insight. To, is, how is this affecting some of the manufacturers, there, especially on the EV side? You know, they thought they'd save some money by building locally, right, in Germany for the, for the European market. But like you said, skyrocketing energy prices. We're seeing the Volvo plant in Germany use go back to coal power because it's, it's so expensive to <laughs> use natural gas. put up more gas. solar walls, right? <laughs> so I think what, you, what might happen, Jared, if that continues, you might see still more production in China for that European domestic market. You are, we're already seeing they're bringing back battery production to the U.S. because of those incentives. So uh, I think what you'll see is a little bit of spreading out of Tesla's sort of production across other facilities. And that's why you have these facilities in China, yeah. the U.S., and also Germany. Yeah, lots of flexibility there for Mr. Meth. <laughs>